Hey everyone, it's Ben from exercise.co.uk here. Today we are getting into can you lose weight on an exercise bike, which you definitely can. It's just how you go about it, because a lot of people can spend a lot of time uh, exercising on a bike and finding that they aren't making as much progress as they like. So we'd just like to demystify a lot of points on there and highlight the importance of uh, cardio, but other elements as well that are brought into that to help you lose weight. Because we don't want you putting in a lot of effort on the bike and then it not paying off. You want all your hard work to pay off. So we're gonna get right into the nitty gritty of how to lose weight on an exercise bike, because you definitely, definitely can. So let's do it. First off, we're gonna bring it back a little bit and remove ourselves from actually losing weight on an exercise bike and just talk about how you lose weight in general, uh, the key principle with, with losing weight, it does come down to your calories and creating what's called a, a calorie deficit, which just means that you are pretty much eating less calories than you are burning throughout the day. So what comes into play here is with exercise bikes is they help you burn more calories. So they help you increase how much energy you're actually using throughout the day. Um, and it's easier to actually create that calorie deficit. So your bikes will help you create that, um, but it's not wholeheartedly the main contributor to weight loss. So next up, actually with your exercise, now that we've got uh, your calorie deficit um, in, in, in place, it's how long do you need to exercise? How frequently are you going to exercise? And Another element of it is how intense you're going to exercise when you do it, because that places a massive bearing on how you're going to actually burn fat. So you don't have to go in like all guns blazing when you exercise. You don't have to be doing it every single day to reap the benefits. In fact, we don't recommend it. We actually recommend um, about two or three times a week uh, with cardio. At the end of the day, anything is beneficial. So anything that you can do and squeeze it in as and around your busy lifestyles is a huge benefit. But if you can try and get in three workouts a week, that's perfect. And just allow your muscles time to recover between those workouts as well. So if they have 48 hours to recover, uh, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Next is the duration of the workout and how intense you're going to work inside that. So you can either do it two ways. You can work in short blasts, but at high intensity, or you can work over a longer duration at a lower intensity. So take the first example, uh, HIIT training, which is high, high intensity interval training. Uh, so this means uh, you can get a really good workout in and burn a lot of fat in a short space of time. So you can be working at your maximum intensity for about a minute. So you're working at 70 to 80% of your maximum effort as hard as you can and then you bring it back down and you rest for another minute and then you'll go back up to that high intensity for another minute and then bring it back down and keep repeating that process um, generally for about 20 minutes and um, by that point you will be absolutely streaming in sweat and you'll burn a lot of calories in that short space of time or you can do the low intensity version so if you want to do a half an hour to a 40 minute uh, bike workout or even longer then you want to be working at more uh, in the region of say 40 to 50 percent of your working heart rate so a much lower intensity to keep you in that fat burning zone um, otherwise if you start to work at a high intensity over a long period of time uh, you, you will actually start to take stores from your muscle because your body tries to get the energy where it can as quickly as it can so you can be taking the energy from places when you don't want so as long as you're working at a low intensity over a longer period of time and at a high intensity over a shorter period of time you'll be maximizing how you burn fat most effectively so next up is the most important point of all because putting in the effort on the bike can all go to waste, unfortunately, if you get your nutrition wrong, which everybody really hates to hear, but unfortunately, it's never going to go away and it is the most pivotal point of your weight loss journey. And you're just changing your lifestyle as a whole. We don't see like losing weight as one thing, we see it as a lifestyle change. So it's, it's really got to be a holistic view to actually changing around your lifestyle to really help you reap the benefits of the effort that you put in. We actually say nutrition plays about a 70% to 30% kind of split on the importance of uh, weight loss as a goal. Uh, 
One actual thing about it though is that carbs aren't the enemy, believe it or not, with your training. But we do recommend having them only at specific times. So on your training days, when you have been doing a workout, carbs are great because your body and your muscles need those carbs to help fuel them. And it'll also help you make you uh, feel more energized throughout the day as well. So if you can try and increase your carb intake uh, through your training days, which is your pasta and bread and rice, that's all okay, you're good to go. Even porridge, um, have a little bit pre-workout and some more post-workout throughout the day as it works. Um, and then on your rest days, you want to try and reduce the carbs and get your energy from healthy fats, which are nuts and uh, you're looking at salmon is a really, really good source of it, avocado, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of other different ways that you can get those healthy fat stores in as well. Throughout this, you want a good protein intake and just keep a really close eye on your saturated fats and your sugar levels as well, just to make sure they aren't going too high. And that's a kind of broad overview of how to really help get your nutrition in place to maximize the results from your bike workouts. Uh, so next up is what type of bike that you're going to use. Uh, so there's roughly kind of four different types of bikes the one that i'm sat on here is a dual action bike this is really really effective for hit training for your interval training because it can elevate your heart rate really quickly because you're also bringing in your upper body as well as you're using it you also have uh, your upright bike which looks very similar to this but it doesn't have the movable arms on it so you're still sat upright but your arms are just fixed in one place uh, they're really good for uh, having generally built-in programs multiple resistance levels and cater for all really depending on whether you want to work at quite a high intensity or a low intensity you also have recumbent bikes which are set at a more horizontal position which place uh, less stress on your knees and they also have back support as well if you have any back troubles they'll help support your back you can't really work a, a higher intensity with the recumbent bikes but they're really good for that low intensity style training so maybe over longer periods of workout uh, so your low intensity training and then last up but not least you have your spinning bikes so spinning bikes are really really good again for your hit training but you can use them again for your low intensity training as well um, your spinning bikes replicate road cycling really really well so that's generally what you'll see in a lot of classes uh, 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 gyms are your, your spinner bikes. To recap, um, the benefits, well, you can lose weight on an exercise bike, absolutely, but there's a lot more going on there. Um, so nutrition plays that all important role in you helping losing weight, but the exercise bike and having that fitness in place definitely fuels that and propagates that further. Um, so that's really going to help push the process uh, along. If you're doing short workouts, you just need to work at a high intensity to really maximize your, your fat burn and the calories burn. And if you're working over a longer duration, 30 to 40 minutes, just keep it at a, a lower intensity. And just find a bike that, that kind of aligns with how you want to exercise as well. A lot of them do come with various different features built into them. But as long as you're catering for what works for you and really thinking about what your goals are, a lot of the time you might not need all of those features that are there if you're just following these basic principles to help you reach your goal. Uh, so you can like change resistance levels to help maybe um, increase your muscle mass a little bit. So sometimes don't be concerned um, if your actual weight isn't dropping. Try not to get too fixated on your specific weight on the scales because sometimes you can increase your muscle mass but decrease your fat loss. And muscle weighs more than fat. So you, sometimes it can give you an indirect figure of you might not think you're losing weight, but actually you are in the right places and you're just toning up your muscle and increasing the density where you would like to see it as well. So try not to get too hung up on those scales because they can't be an accurate reflection of where you are. Uh, so we hope you found this, this uh, video really, really useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to, uh, to drop them in the comments and we'll, we'll try and answer them whenever, you know, whenever we can for you. And uh, feel free to just like, follow, share and subscribe because we've got plenty more of these videos on the way and follow along workouts uh, to help keep you motivated as much as possible. Thanks again.